us to another episode in a series of episodes in which we continue looking at the August 2024 Mathematics paper team. If you haven't seen the other episodes, please check out on our YouTube channel or download the companion app that you are seeing on the right hand side of your screen. In this app, you are going to find a lot of materials that are going to be helpful to you. You are going to find quizzes based on the topical exam pass papers. You are going to find over 10,000 questions with few solutions, instant solution and detailed explanation. We look at question 16. The length of a sugar cane is measured as 2.6 meters. If it's true, length is 2.5 meters, find the A absolute error, B percentage error, and that's four marks in total. Again, you see the question that comes on the measurement, where you'll be asked to find the absolute error, percentage error, kind of questions. So if you understand the concept that I'm explaining here, this question again should be an easy question for you. So how do you find the absolute error? So the absolute error is given by the difference, absolute error, AE, is given by the difference between the measured value What's the measured value? In this case, is this value which is measured, which is 2.6 minus the true value. What's the true value? The true value is 2.5 meters. So we get 2.6 meters minus 2.5 meters. Then we get 0 0.1 meter. So this 0 0.1 meter is the absolute error, which is the error in measurement. So once you do that, you get the one mark. We go to B, percentage error. So what's the percentage error of this absolute value? So the absolute error, we found it, to find the percentage error, which I'll copy, is equal to the absolute error that we found, divide by the true value, multiplied by Andre. So what you're saying is, by what percentage is the measurement of the true value? That's the percentage error. So you have to make sure that you get A correct. So if you miss A, then you get zero on this question. So make sure that you answer the first question correctly. So we have the absolute error of 0 0.1, then divide by what's the true value? 2.5, then multiply by 100. So this, when I multiply this one, 1 point, 0 0.1 times 100, I'm going to get 10. Divide by 2.5, so this is a 4. So this is four percent. So again, it's just a matter of playing with these numbers. When you play with these numbers, you will notice that it's easier to simplify this. These questions are not difficult. What is difficult is how to answer these questions without a calculator. So once you do this, you are good to go. You get the good four marks. So thank you for joining me in this episode. Join me in the next episode as we look at question seventeen.